Hello, Grade 4. We're going to make a revision on approximating. Our important rule is to know which digit is our targeted digit. He asks me to approximate to the nearest 10. So our targeted digit is 10. 10 digit in letter A is 0. I'll make all the digits. Before it, 0. 8 is going to be 0. And I compare the unit's digit with 5. If it was greater than or equal 5, it will increase the 10 digit by 1. If it was less than 5, 0 will keep its value, or 10 digit will keep its value. So 8 is greater than 5, it will increase 0 by 1, going to be 110. In letter B, our target digit is 8. 5 is, is equal 5, so it will increase 8 by 1, going to be 20. Letter C, 1 is our target digit. 4 in units is less than 5, so the unit will keep its value and write the rest of the number. Letter D, 9 is our target digit. 7 in units is greater than 5, so it's going to increase 9 by 1, it's going to be 10. Write 0 with the of 7, and 9 is going to be 10. 0 and carry up 1, 1 and 9 is going to be 1000. Okay, in letter E, 0 is our target digit, 0 in 10 digit. 8 in units is greater than 5, so it will increase 0 by 1. I write 0 instead of 8, and 0 is, is, will be 1, and write the rest of the number. And letter F, we don't have 10 digits, so I'll write 0 instead of 8. I don't use decimal number. 6 in units is greater than 5, so greater than 3, 0 by 1 will be 10. Letter G, our 1. I don't use decimal number. 7 is greater than 5, so it will increase 1 by 1, will be 20. Don't use this is my number, the same thing. 8 is greater than 5, to increase 1 by 1, going to be 220. When you use this my number, 4 is uh, the targeted digit, 3 is less than 5, so 4 would keep its value and write the rest of the number. In letter G, 9 is our targeted digit, 5 is equal 5, so to increase 9 by 1, write 0 is equal 5, and 0 and carry up 1, 1 and 3, 4, and write the rest of the number. In letter K, we all know in the fractions 19 over 4 equal 4 and 3 over 4. 4 multiply 4 equals 16 and 3 equal 19. So, 4 and 4 and 3 over 4 the same of 4.75. So, where is our target digit? He wants me to approximate to the nearest 10. We don't have 10 digits. I will not use the decimal number. So, 4 will not increase the unit, the 10th digit. So, it's going to be 0. Try to solve L and M. In the first, we're going to make the operation. 4 and 7 equal 12. 1 and carry up 1. 1 and 0 equal 1. And 6 equal 7. 3 and 4 equal 7. 5 and 9 equal 14. 4 and carry up 1. 1 and 2 equal 3. Our target digit is 7. 1 in the units is less than. 5, so 7 will keep its value. And write the rest of the number. In letter M, we're going to make the operation first. 7 minus 1 equals 6. 5 minus 9, I can't. 5 will be 15. And the 2 will be 1. 15 minus 9 equals 6. 1 minus 3, I can't. going to be 11. And 6 will be 5. 11 minus 3 equal 8. 
and 5 minus 5 equals 0, 4 minus 1 equals 3. Our target digit is 6. 6 in the units is greater than 5, so it will increase 6 by 1. Right, the units did speed of units, and 6 is going to be 7, and write the test of the number. Try to solve this page alone, and we're going to continue. And here's the answers. Okay, the next page. Approximate to the nearest hundred. So, sorry. Approximate to the nearest hundred. So our target digit is hundred digit. We know seven is the unit, three is the ten, five is the hundred. So our target digit is five. And I'll make all the digits before it zero. And the digit before it, three, and the ten is less than five, so five will keep its value. Letter B, our target digit is five. I'll make all the digits before it zero. Five and ten is equal five, so it will increase the hundred by one, it will be six. The same thing you can see, seven is greater than five, so it will increase five by one, will be 600. Okay, and letter D, the same thing. I make all the numbers before it's zero. Two is less than five, so three will keep its value. Letter E, the same thing. Zero, and the units and ten. Zero is less than five, so three will keep its value and write the rest of the number. Letter F, the same thing. Nine is greater than five, so it will increase zero by one going to be 3,100. Letter G, we don't use the decimal number and we, we don't have 100 units, so I suppose it's zero. Five in the 10 is equal five, so it will increase zero by one, gonna to be 100. H, we don't use the decimal number, our 100 digit is nine, ally is zero in the units and the, and the tens, and in the tens, nine is greater than five. So to increase nine by one, it will be 10. So the answer will be 1,000. We don't use the fractions. And we don't have 100 digit. I'll make it zero. Nine and 10 is greater than five. So it's gonna to increase 100 digit by one, it will be 100. In the next question, you want me to approximate to the nearest thousand. So where is my target digit? That's the unit, uh, 10, 100, and thousand. My target digit is six. So I'll make all the digits before it zero and notice the digit, 100 digit. Two is less than five, so the thousand digit would keep its value. The same thing, letter P, but the 100 digit is equal 5, so it will increase the 1,000 by 1, so it's going to be 7,000. Letter C is the same thing, 1,000 digit, and 8 is greater than 5, so it will increase the 1,000 digit by 1, so it's going to be 7,000. And letter D, my 1,000 digit is 5, my target digit, 3 is less than 5, so the thousand digit will keep its value. And letter E, four is my target digit, and I'll make all the digits for zero, the same thing, the same way, but with some difference. The zero is less than five, so four will keep its value. Letter F, my target digit is three, and in the hundred is nine, 9 is greater than 5, so it will increase the 1,000 digit by 1, so it's going to be 4,000. Letter G, we don't use the decimal number, and we don't have 1,000, so I suppose it's 0. 2 is less than 5, so it will not increase the 1,000 by anything, so it's going to be 0. Okay, letter H. Our thousand digit is nine. 
we, we don't use the decimal number. Nine in the hundred is greater than five, so it's pre increased nine by one, right? And the units, digit, and the units, and the 10 digit and 100 digit zero, I have to increase 9 by 1, so it will be 10,000. Okay, I don't use the decimal number and I don't have 1,000 digit 6, and the 100 digit is greater than 5, so it will increase 0 by 1, so it's gonna to be 1,000. Try to solve this page alone and I'll show the answer. Here's the answer, okay? The next page. He wants me to approximate to the nearest 10. Our targeted digit is 10 digits. Sorry. Our targeted digit is 10 digits. Where's the 10 here? In the first letter, one. Five is greater than, is equal five, so it will increase one by one, going to be 320. The second one, you want me to approximate the nearest 100. My targeted digit is 100 digit, seven. Eight is greater than five, so it will increase seven by one, going to be 800. Approximate to the nearest 1,000. <coughs> I don't use the decimal number. 1,000 digit is three. One and the hundred is less than five, so three will keep its value. Okay, and letter D, my, you want me to approximate to nearest 10,000. Okay, 10,000 is three. One is less than five, so three will keep its value. Going to be 30,000. Now he wants me to approximate to the nearest million. Where is the million digit? Units, then hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. This is the million digit. I'll make all the numbers before it's zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the ten thousand, the hundred thousand digit is greater than five, so it will increase the million digit by one. It's going to be nine million. Now he wants me to approximate to the nearest ten. I don't use the fraction. The 10 digit is 3, 6 is greater than 5, so it will increase 3 by 1, going to be 740. Approximate to the nearest 100,000. Where is the 100,000 digit? Like we know, units, 10, 100,000, 10,000. We don't have 100,000 digit. So I'll make all the numbers before it. Zero and and ten thousand digit nine is greater than five, so going to increase zero by one will be one hundred thousand. Okay, and letter H, we're going to solve the equation first, going to solve the operation first, and then approximate to the nearest hundred. 4 and 6 equal 10, 0 and carry up 1, 1 and 4 equal 5, 5 and 5 equal 10, 0 and carry up 1, 1 and 3 equal 4, 4 and 7 equal 12, 1 and carry up 1, 1 and 9 equal 10, 10 and 8 equal 18, 8 and carry up 1, 1 and 8 equal 9, 9 and 9 equal 18. Then I have to approximate to the nearest 100. My targeted digit is 8. Because I don't use the decimal number and it's 0, so it has no value. Okay, in the, in the 10 digit, there is 8. 8 is greater than 5, so it's going to increase the, is, uh, the, 10 di the 100 digit by 1, going to be 1,900. Try to solve it alone. And I'll show you the answers. And the answers. Okay. The next page.
9705.26 when I approximate it to the nearest what going to be 9700 how many zeros are there two zeros I don't use this number so I approximate it to the nearest hundred I have two zeros so I approximate it to the nearest hundred okay and second one <coughs> 7,000 is approximation to the nearest what I have how many zeros there is three zeros so I approximate it to the nearest 1,000 or the nearest thousand okay let us see how many zeros are they and the approximation number zero only one so I approximate it to the nearest 10 Okay, and second and the last one, 38,000 is approximation to 37,865 to the nearest what? So this is approximation number. How many zeros are there? Three zeros, so I approximate it to the nearest south. Try to solve it alone. We still have one here. The greatest and the smallest numbers that is approximated to the nearest hundred gives a result of 9,900. The greatest number, I write the number 9,900 and write a thread for a nine. The smallest number, when I approximate it to the nearest hundred, will make will give me the result will be 9,805, the smallest number, okay, and this is the answer. Okay, approximating to the nearest unit. When I approximate to the nearest unit, I use the decimal numbers and the fraction. Focus, okay? Letter A. What is my target digit? It's three. The unit's digit. I look to the tenth digit, it's five. It's equal five, so to increase the three by one, going to be 54. And letter B, four is my target digit. 0 is less than 5, so the unit will keep its value. Letter C, 0 is my target digit, 5 is equal 5, so to increase 0 by 1, so going to be 1. Remember that if you want to the nearest unit, one number, and like that, it's approximating to the nearest unit. Letter D, my targeted digit is 9. I going to, I'll increase it by 1 because 9 is greater than 5. So going to be 10. This number, I have to make it decimal number or I have to wait. Make it decimal number or compare it with half. How? The first way, my number is and 3 over 4. I I multiply four by five. Sorry, one minute. Four multiply twenty five and three multiply sorry twenty five. The result will be twenty five over one hundred. Okay, so the number will be 957.75. Okay, my target digit is 7, and 7 in 10 is greater than 5, so to increase 7 by 1, it's going to be 8. Okay, and letter F, 5 over 8. I want to make it this number, 
5 over 8, multiply 5 times 125 and 8 times 125. Going to be 125 over 1000. Okay, so the number is 5.125. Okay, my target digit is 5, 1, and the tenth is less than 5, so 5 will keep its value. Okay, and letter G, my target digit is 8, 1 is less than 5, so will keep its value. 9 over 2 over 9. I can't solve it, I can't make it, this is my number, so I'll use another way. How? By comparing it by half, like that. 2 over 9, you want to compare it with half, 2 times 2 equal 4, 9, nine times 1 equal 9, 9 is greater than 4, so the half is greater. When the half is greater, I will not increase this number. So, going to be 5. 3 over 5 times 25 times 25 going to be 25 over 100. So, 12 feet. So, my number is 0.25, my target digit is 0, and 7 is greater than 5, so to increase 0 by 1, going to be 1. 20 over 3, it's 18, it's, sorry, 6, and 2 times 3. 6 times 3 equal 18 and 2 equal 20. So, 2 times 3, I compare it by half. 2 times 2 equal 4, 3 times 1 equal 3, so it's the greater. So it will increase 6 by 1, so it's going to be 7. My target digit was 6. Okay, in the second, in the in letter K, we're going to solve the operation first and add 0 here. 0 and 1 equal 1. 4 and 0 equal 4. 6 and 6 equal 12. Find the point and carry up 1. 1 and 3 equal 4. 4 and 8 equal 12. 2 and carry up 1. Like that. My target digit is 2. 2 and the tenth is less than 5 or less than 5, so we'll keep it value. And the last one, we all know when we divide by 1000, the decimal point will move 3 moves. So it's going to be 0 0.345. My target digit is 0 and 3 is less than 5, so I'll increase, I'll make 0 as its value. And letter F, this letter, we have a mistake. 5 I suggest that we use the comparing way it's easier 5 over 8 and half 2 times 5 equal 10 8 times 1 equal 8 so it's the greater so it will increase 5 by 1 it's going to be Six, not five. Try to solve it alone. Here's the answers, and that's for now. We are going to continue in the next video. Thank you very much.